Um, it's been, <coughs> excuse me, it's been six years now since Taxi Driver was released, and it was, I, I and many, <laughs> I was many other people who feel that it was a very special film. And I've, every year it, it grows in a kind of critical stature. And I was curious as to what your feelings are about it now, and w when was the last time you saw it? It grows for me. Uh, I haven't seen it in quite a while, but it grows in my memory. And I know that, uh, I know, I know that it's going to endure. Uh, I knew it, though, I knew it the day, not the day it came out, I knew the day I saw it, the first time. I knew we had done something. Uh, you know, we had done something of, of permanence. And it's not that immortality is somehow the goal, but it's just that we had done something that was really satisfying, that worked, and that had flesh and blood and passion and made sense, and it had its own logic. And uh, to be uh, brutally honest, uh, I haven't felt that way about anything I've been involved with until this one even though I didn't write this one. And even though this one falls into a, a genre category, cat people, and even though it is a um, mass entertainment, I think it, it, it is cohesive and it works and it has a kind of mesmerizing interior logic that will prevail and that 10 years from now it will have be the same film it is now. I don't think it will date. Uh, and I don't feel that way about anything else I've done besides Taxi Driver. Mm -hmm. and it's curious too, Taxi Driver uh, is like a document of the 70s in New York. I just, for example, Bel mm -hmm. Belmore is gone now, and 13th Street, which is where <laughs> I live, is turning co-op. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, uh, so you get that documentary thing going too. Yeah. What's it like uh, working, your relationship, working relationship with Martin Scorsese? Uh, well, I just finished another script for Marty. It's my third one, and uh, it's very, very clean, which is that uh, we meet, I write a script, he reads it, we meet again. I polish the script, I hand it in. I disappear. That's what the working relationship is. Uh, uh, after I hand it in, I'm gone. I don't call, I don't ask, they m he makes the movie. I've done my job. Uh, if, if the script is really good, it will inspire him to be better. And uh, that's the best I can do. Uh, I always feel that the presence I'm on a, of a writer on the set is one of the sheer indicators that something has gone awry. Because by the time a movie begins shooting, the actor should understand the character as well as the writer. And the director should understand the structure and the style as well or better than the writer. And if they still need the writer at that point, they've probably started shooting too quickly. So that when you do Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, maybe you get a call once in eight weeks from De Niro or Scorsese, and they said, what do you think of this line or this improvisation or this change? But more often than not, they don't bother to call because they are in sync, and they know that their changes and their uh, evolutions of the material uh, are, are proper, you know, and that's, that's the way movies should be made. And that's, of course, the new film, the new script is The Last Temptation of Christ, which Seems to be the, uh, another perfect uh, kind of synthesis for the Schrader, Scorsese, De Niro struggle between the spirit and the flesh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel that way. I, I happen to like the script a lot. I think it's the best thing I've done. Uh, I would love to direct it myself. On the other hand, I would love Marty to direct because, you know, I care very deeply for him and uh, I respect his work also very deeply. So, uh, I really appreciate that uh, you know he wants to do it and that he's going to do it, and uh, so that's 
yeah, and maybe that's just as much reward as doing it myself.